All right, it's your turn, Zoe. Pretty sure it's your turn. No, it's your turn. It's your turn. It is definitely your turn, Zoe. I'm pretty sure it's your turn. I, mean, I am your father. <laughs> if I say it's your turn, it's your turn. It's not my turn, I am also though. the dungeon master. If I say it's your turn, it's your turn. Did you write down the it's your order? Turn. I'm pretty sure it's your turn. Well, we'll know soon enough whose turn it is because we're making a DIY initiative tracker today on Short Rest Studios. Hey there, adventurers. Welcome back to another episode of Short Rest Studios. My name is Judd. And I'm Zoe. And Zoe's my daughter. And the reason she's here this week is because we got together and made a DIY initiative tracker. And Zoe is really into mushrooms uh, as a design motif. So we decided <laughs> to go with a mushroom themed initiative tracker. And we're going to show you how we made it right now. Apologies on the poor lighting on this part of the video. I'm marking off 18 inches on this quarter inch dowel and I'm gonna cut off that 18 inch long segment to be the main part of our initiative tracker. And this little guy is gonna be the stem of our mushroom which will sit at the top of the initiative tracker. So I need to drill a quarter inch hole in it so it can be mounted to the top of the dowel as sort of a decorative piece at the top. And I'm dry fitting that here and it worked out great. And after I sand the dowel a bit, I'm gonna take this coaster that we bought at Hobby Lobby and drill a quarter inch hole roughly in the center of it. I just kind of eyeballed it because it's an oddly shaped piece, but that's gonna be the base of our tracker. Fits great. And now we transition to the crafting space where Zoe's gonna take over. She's gonna take one of these split ball pieces and glue it to the top of our stem with some tight bond wood glue. There's no particular reason I'm using tight bond three except it's what we had. So we just apply a little dot of glue and Zoe uses a finger and rubs it almost to the edges. We don't want to go all the way to the edge because the cap does extend past the edges of the stem a bit. She carefully places that together and then I clamp it down for about half hour just to give it a chance to set. Now Zoe takes out some Hauser light green craft paint to paint the dowel. And cheap craft paint is the way to go with this kind of stuff. It works perfectly fine. We bought that particular brand because it's kind of the Hobby Lobby store brand. It was about a dollar, but you can get even cheaper stuff at Walmart that works just as well. So we're gonna put two coats of this green paint on the dowel and make sure when you switch colors that you rinse your brush. And now Zoe's putting a little bit of wood glue on the end of that dowel, not on the very end, but around the edges, as you can see, so that she can mount it into the base. And actually she tries, but I had to help her put it in there because it, it's a tight fit. And it's probably a tight enough fit that we could have done it without the glue, but gluing it gives you a little more security. And don't forget to wipe off the excess glue now. And now we're gonna use an off-white color for our mushroom stem. So we use Craft Smart Vanilla from Michaels, which we already had. And we put a couple of coats of that on the stem of our now glued mushroom. And now we're gonna switch to True Red from Deco or just You just want a bright red for this or whatever color you wanna paint your mushroom cap. But if you do a color like this, you really need to do three coats which is what we did to really get a nice bright red. It's okay to use a trashed brush for this type of project, but here Zoe switches to a better brush with a finer tip because she needs more precision. And now we're switching to dark yellow and Zoe's gonna dry brush this on to the lower part of the mushroom stem where it goes in. We wanna create the illusion of shadow there and just provide a little extra color texture. And this is her first time dry brushing. She's doing a pretty good job. So now I'm dry brushing this part because she was concerned that she was gonna get the yellow onto her mushroom cap. So I'm doing the same thing here on this shadowed part underneath the cap. And now, because we didn't have white craft paint, um, we're switching to some Vallejo model color white. We're just using a tiny bit to create a highlight with dry brush around the raised part around the middle of the mushroom stem. 
And now she's gonna take that same white and she's getting ready to put some spots on her mushroom cap so she's practicing on her hand, which is always a good thing to do. And now I am getting flashbacks of Super Mario Brothers. But she's doing a great job on that mushroom cap. Again, she's using a more precise brush with a finer tip there. And now once again, putting some tight bond wood glue around the other end of that dowel now to glue the mushroom on top. And we just do the same thing. Use the finger to rub that glue around and sort of twist the mushroom onto the end of the dowel because it's a pretty tight fit. But again, the glue just helps give you a little more security and know that it's gonna be more or less permanent. And I'm gonna wipe off that excess glue. Hey, if you're getting something out of this video, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up down below to show that you like this video. That helps it get out to more people so you can share the wealth. And if you wanna keep up with what I'm doing here on Short Rest Studios week to week, just hit that battle ax underneath me. And if you wanna support this channel in other ways, you can visit my Etsy shop, the Short Rest Studios Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. Now back to the action. And now on to decorating the base. So the first thing we do is apply some good old Elmer's glue all. You can use whatever white PVA glue you have and we just spread that around on the base. And we use some Woodland Scenics coarse grass and a light green. And we just sprinkled that on top of the glue. You use whatever basing materials you have for whatever kind of look you want. But then we drop some PVA glue mixed with water on top of that and apply some different colors and different textures of grass effects just to give it a little bit of depth now just for something a little bit different we have some of this moss that you can buy at Hobby Lobby or other craft stores that's meant for floral decorating and we just glue some of that onto the bottom of the dowel just to make it look like something's climbing up that stem and now we drop a little PVA glue and water onto all of that to harden it. Because if you don't, it just starts falling off as soon as you mess with it. Now we have our little mushroom charms, which we are going to add to the tags that we put on our initiative tracker. And because these are little charms and they're not really intended for this type of purpose, they have these rings on the back that I just took an X-Acto knife and cut off. And of course, I did this part. I didn't let Zoe do it. So we just bought some chalkboard gift tags, they're paper tags, and we're gonna use those as our initiative tracker tags. So I just take a little super glue and I'm gluing these mushrooms onto those tags. And I'm careful where I put the glue so that it doesn't go through the hole in the tag because I want the mushroom to cover up the holes. Although we made additional tags for enemies that don't have mushrooms on them, you can still see the holes, but oh well. So now Zoe has taken the hot glue gun, low temperature hot glue, and gluing those tags onto the side of a clothespin, which for some reason I kept referring to as a paper clip while we were doing this. And in fact, I tried to call it a paper clip just now, but I caught myself. So she's gluing each of these tags onto the long side of a clothespin, and that's what we're gonna use to attach the trackers to the dowel. And then you can just open up the clothespin, move it around when you wanna change your initiative order. Write on those tags with a chalk marker and you're good to go. So when we let the glue dry, we notice that that PVA water mixture actually caused some staining on the base. And so we decided to add some more of this moss grass effect using some different color clump foliage that I had. If you went out and bought all of these basing materials, this would greatly increase the cost of this project because the stuff's not terribly cheap, but I happen to already have it because I do this type of thing a lot. So that's why we were able to keep the project so cheap. But even so, if you buy one of these containers, you can use it for a lot of different projects. It'll last you a while. I just kind of let Zoe go nuts and put as much stuff as she wanted to on here. Hey, it's her initiative tracker. And now we happen to have some little felt pads laying around that we used on cabinet doors, stuff like that. And we're just putting those on the base to act as feet to keep it from scratching up your table or whatever. And as with every crafting project like this, I sprayed the whole thing down with some Krylon matte finish just to keep the paint from rubbing off with handling. 
All right, so here is the finished product and it costs us less than $12 to make this thing. Now, some of the materials we had on hand, Hobby Lobby happened to have all of their unfinished wood craft materials on sale for 40% off. And they do that from time to time. So you can go find these kind of things for really cheap. So Zoe, what do you think of your new initiative tracker? I mean, it's mushroom themed. I love it. There's moss at the bottom and it's, it, it's just, it's the, na tree. the natural wood base. Yes. How did you like the process of making it? That was fun. I felt powerful sitting in the chair <laughs> under the camera. <laughs> did you really enjoy making it? Yes. Yeah. Did, was I uh, was I an okay teacher? <laughs> <laughs> we found some really neat little things, and you know, sometimes you just have to go out and shop and, and just see what's there. Because these little mushroom guys that we stuck on the tags, that wasn't really planned. We just happened to see them and thought they would look cool, so we so it's we did it. A lot of searching for mushroom things though. Yeah, it did, it did. But we found what we needed and I think it came out really good and it was really affordable and it is super, super easy to make. You can make one of these too. And hey, once again, if you got something out of this video, if you just enjoyed it, if you like hanging out with Zoe, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up and like this video so other people will get a chance to see it and hit the battle axe to keep up with what we're doing on the channel. And please head on over to the Short Rest Studios Etsy shop and purchase some minis or some dungeon tiles or something like that to support this channel. And we will see you next time on Short, Short Rest, Rest Studios. Studios.